Here tonight at points of authority, Darby Allen has fought his heart out, but he could not best the giant, and Andre is victorious. And look out for CM Punk! CM Punk looking for revenge on Suzuki Goon! And Terry Funk gets the win! CM Punk costing Okada this matchup. You know Suzuki Goon are hot on the trails of the best in the world. And oh my god! A sledgehammer shot to the back of the skull. Triple H has decimated Cody Rhodes. And wait a minute, Triple H is back! This matchup has gone everywhere, and now Shawn Michaels. Michaels with the super kick, and AJ Styles retains. Now DX attack and Omega as AJ Styles runs away. And there's Okada! Okada is the brand new 24-7 champion. Welcome to another exciting edition of NLW 24-7. Tonight, we're on the heels of a shocking conclusion to Points of Authority, where Kazushika Okada became the brand new 24-7 champion. In fact, here is Suzuki Goon with Okada as they have a huge challenge and a big match announcement. You didn't want to believe it, did you? But standing right here is the most sadistic trio in wrestling. Okada, Sabre, Suzuki, the new and improved Suzuki Goon. And now we have the 24 7 title where it belongs around the waist of the Rainmaker. But unlike the chaos that has surrounded the championship in the past, wrestlers trying to sneak up and attack, that will not happen with us. Because if you try and take this title, we will ensure that you are dealt with. And if you want this title, you must earn the opportunity. That is why in three weeks time, the Rainmaker shares the wealth and gives 10 lucky wrestlers an opportunity to compete for the 24-7 championship. A money in the bank ladder match. In this match, you will see Matt Seidel, Pac, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Billy Kidman, Eddie Guerrero, Andrade El Idolo, The Sandman, AJ Styles and Kenny Omega compete for a chance at this man. Only if you climb the ladder and get the briefcase will you get a shot at Okada. But that's not all. In two weeks, there's also going to be a women's money in the bank ladder match. $50,000 of the Rainmaker's money up for grabs. Sasha Banks, Naomi, Britt Baker, Io Shirai, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Lita and Bianca Belair, who will be Mrs. Money in the Bank. Oh yeah, and as for CM Punk, the so-called best in the world, who still doesn't understand the mistakes he's making, don't even try and come for us, because when you mess with Suzuki Goon, you will live to regret it. Well, some big news from Okada and Suzuki Goon. In two weeks, Money in the Bank begins. Eight women compete for $50,000. Then one week later, ten men with a chance for a shot, one-on-one -on -one versus Okada. Apparently, though, CM Punk won't be one of them after he cost Okada his match last week. Well, standing by with a couple competing in Money in the Bank, let's hear from Andrade El Idolo and his other half, the Queen, Charlotte Flair. You are the most... Beautiful, elegant woman I have ever seen. I know you are going to crush those other women in Money in the Bank. Oh, mamacita, you're looking fine today. How would you like some Latino heat? Hey, back off. Whoa, easy, man. I'm just trying to pay the lady a compliment, I say. I think Charlotte's winning that Money in the Bank. Maybe that 50 grand will help ease the pain of you losing money in the bank to Eddie Galero. I think you're mistaken, Essie. I am Andrade El Idolo. And I think you should shut your mouth before I shut it for you. 
Guys, guys, look, we can all be civil. Andrade, look, Eddie's a good guy. He's my friend. He's just a little hot-tempered. And you know what? He's not the only filthy animal in the match. Mr. Money in the Bank Billy Kidman sounds all right, too. So, you know, lay off, Eddie. He's cool. He's re... Uh, ooh, I gotta go. Uh, good luck, guys. Hope you do well. Hey, wait a minute. You took my cash. I'm gonna... Honey, relax. We'll soon have plenty more, trust me. Tensions flaring there and tensions flaring between DX and Kenny Omega. At points of authority, we witnessed a sickening display as Triple H smashed Cody Rhodes in the back of the head with a sledgehammer. Later in the night, Triple H, now with the help from Shawn Michaels, attacked Kenny Omega and cost him the 24-7 championship. Here is DX to talk about why they committed these heinous attacks. Why did I smash Cody Rhodes in the head with a sledgehammer? I don't know if you know this, but for years and years, he is trying to gain relevancy off of my name. Off of my blood, sweat, and tears that I've brought to this industry. He smashed my throne. He knew what he was doing. He is trying to provoke me. Well, when you try and prod a wild animal, a lion, you will get bitten. And that's exactly what happened to Cody Rhodes last week. You and your little crew of wannabe DX impersonators. Yeah, you know what? I also have something to say about that. We invented being outrageous. We invented being the alternative. We invented being and doing whatever the hell we wanted to do and whatever the hell we wanted to be. But then you got these little elite cosplayers trying to pretend that they're actually professional wrestlers when in reality they're just cheap tribute knockoffs of D Generation X and that is a fact and you know what else is a fact Kenny Omega can't even lace up our bootstraps yeah neither can Cody Rhodes and hey if he even wakes up from his sledgehammer attack and tries to get in our business again hell We'll send him right back to that hospital, just like we're going to do to Kenny Omega. Oh, whoa, Sean. I think uh, you've forgotten something. Kenny Omega doesn't deserve to be champion. In fact, he can't even stand on his own two feet. Oh, yeah, Hunter, I forgot. In fact, why don't the people at home take a look what happens when you try and upstage Degeneration X? And oh, my God, they've attacked... Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega covered in blood. And now the Young Bucks here to rescue him. The Young Bucks running off DX. But look at what DX has done to not only Cody Rhodes, but now Kenny Omega. The Elite have bonded together in light of Cody Rhodes' injury to fight back against DX. But after what we saw, what will Kenny Omega's condition be come money in the bank? And will he even be able to compete in that match? I guess we'll find out, and who's going to lead the charge against Suzuki-gun? I'm going to show you some footage right now from last night, which could answer that question. Hey, Britt, look. We know you're competing in that women's money in the bank, and obviously you're going to win, right? Well, if you maybe could send a message to some of the competition, maybe help us keep this title. You've got some connections, right? Maybe that 50 grand becomes 100 grand. What do you say? And from behind is Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, one of the women in Money in the Bank, and now Becky Lynch as well. Money in the Bank starting early, and oh, wait a minute. AJ Styles rolling up Okada trying to get his title back, but Suzuki Goon pounced on him, and now the Sandman. Another man will be competing in Money in the Bank, and Bobby Lashley now, and Bianca Belair as well. All hell's broken loose. There's Matt Seidel. And CM Punk. CM Punk is here for Okada to get revenge, but oh my goodness, the Suzuki Goon faction and oh wait a minute, Io Shirai from the heavens. Io Shirai with a huge dive from the top of that 20 foot ladder. Who's going to win money in the bank?
Well, Okada escapes as champion, but who will escape as Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank? For the women, 50 grand to play for. For the men, a shot at the 24-7 championship. Next week, we will preview these matches by showing some of the craziest ladder moments from NLW 24-7 history. In two weeks, women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And then in three weeks, it's time for the men's turn. Who is Money? Find out right here when Money in the Bank comes to NLW 24-7.